Good morning and welcome to Health Talk, sponsored by Mon General Hospital. This program is designed to provide education on vital health topics to help you take charge of your health. You'll also be introduced to Mon General's committed physicians, allied healthcare professionals, and quality programs and services. And now, here are your Health Talk hosts, Kay Murray and Jim Stallings. Kay? Jim? We're going to be talking about an event that I'm not invited to. Well, I don't know. We might let you come. I'll hang out outside but the But let door. me tell you, this is the event I need to go to. It is an event, the Women's Health Program, Mon General Hospital, and the Alpha Phi Sorority, sponsoring a Women's Extreme Makeover on Saturday, January 26th at the Waterfront Place Hotel Ballroom. It's on the heart, Jim. It's on the heart. Yes. And with us in the studio is Cindy Jaworski from the Cardiac Rehab Area room closet of mon general hospital <laughs> how are you today just fine thank you all right and is this a new event for mon general no it's actually something um that's it's a repeat of something that has been done a couple years ago um it was something that we hadn't really thought about doing right away but dr frazier and i had talked about doing a zoomathon and to raise money for heart disease awareness for women and we found out that the Alpha Phi was organization was more than willing to help us put on something even more grand. And so we came up with the Extreme Makeover 2, where we're going to emphasize controlling the risk factors for heart disease. The main one that we're focusing on this year is the risk factor of stress. So this is not about facelifts? No, no. Although, <laughs> although that would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, you did mention Dr. Frazier. Dr. Frazier is at electrophysiologist on staff at Mon General Hospital. That's shocking. So, uh, when, I forget your first name. I'm sorry. It's LaToya. LaToya. Linton uh, Frazier. Um, and would you mind giving her your microphone, Greg, there, please? Again, I, I do have a support ticket into the uh, engineering department about really? that microphone. Really? It's only been Kate. two months now, I know. so that's all right. I'm that's not right. getting any attention whatsoever hey, with that a, particular microphone. It's a busy microphone. department. Very good morning, busy. Dr. Frazier. Good morning. Did you say LaToya? It's LaToya. Yes. All right. Well, it's good to be here. And so this event is coming up, as we mentioned, at the Waterfront Place Hotel. And you are uh, targeting one of the risk factors for heart disease at the event, which you mentioned. Yes. And so who should attend? Oh, women of all ages. We hope that people will invite their mothers, daughters, neighbors, anybody that they can think of to come and enjoy the day with us, the morning actually. Uh, it's going to be more than just education. We have a lot of exhibitors that are donating their time to help women figure out ways to reduce their stress in their lives. Women have way too much stress. So um, we have people that are coming to teach how to organize your house better. We have a life coach that's coming to talk to people to help them figure out ways to maybe deal with a certain problem. And then we have educational people like the oncology department from Mon General is going to talk to people about their stress when they either have cancer themselves or have to deal with being the caretaker. So it's a, a great thing. Lots of talk about exercise. Dr. Frazier is actually going to be leading some Zumba at the end of the event in the morning for our exercise. And um, we just have a whole lot of exhibitors. Dr. Frazier, you're going to speak about the uh, connection between stress and heart disease. Correct. Now, I know somebody in this room that's kind of stressful, uh, <laughs> under stress. I Greg. We... No, I'm not. I don't mean to be looking at Greg. But <laughs> if someone in this room, uh, I sense, uh, had a lot of stress on their shoulders all the time, uh -huh. what's the relationship with that and heart disease? So when we talk about the contributing factors for heart disease we sort of break them down into two categories major risks and contributory risks and stress um, is sort of listed as a contributing risk factor because you know you don't have any um, objective evidence we do have lots of research suggesting that patients or um, people that are stressed their blood pressure goes up their heart rate goes up and in that setting it can cause the coronary arteries, the arteries that bring blood to, to the heart to constrict. And so people would get chest pain, or otherwise known as angina. So that's one way that stress could lead to chest pain, i.e. Um, heart disease. Um, another factor is when folks are stressed, whether they're depressed or they don't have a good social network or if they're um, highly anxious, they tend to 
adopt bad habits. They tend to eat more, and the things that they eat are probably things that we shouldn't be eating, the high fat, the high cholesterol um, uh, food products. People tend to smoke or people tend to drink. Drinking puts on a lot of calories. And so just the just mere stress with folks adopting bad habits um, gets you into problems, right? You just increase your risk of getting heart disease by doing all the things that you shouldn't be doing, which is smoking and drinking and eating all the um, foods you're not supposed so to So lifestyles is what you're saying. Absolutely. It's our lifestyle that we tend to fall into. Absolutely. Why women more than men? Um, that's a very good question. I think that... Uh, I mean, I think I can answer it, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> right. Those are men, right? right. <laughs> you know, we, you know, genetically, you know, we, we're, you know, the different makes up. And I, and I think um, women handle stress much differently than, than men. Um, you know, we tend to internalize uh, or, 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 or feelings and our habits when, when, when we're on the stressful situations, and we're probably mo more apt to adopt in the bad habits compared to men. Um, uh, physiologically, it should be the same. I mean, what we manifest, you know, the hormones get elevated during stress, and that's the same for both genders. But I think um, just how women... Um, how we handle it, really. How we handle it is, is, is the key part. Mm -hmm. Now, um, of course, stress has its physical manifestations, some, you know, make us feel bad in, in mm -hmm. certain ways. but. Isn't stress something that starts in our mind? We're worrying about things too much, thinking about things, overthinking things all the time. I mean, it really is, uh, is it a mind thing mostly? It could be. Um, for a lot of people, it is, um, which is why um, I think that this program that we're doing, and although we're targeting women, it, it goes for both genders. Um, yes, so if you can find other avenues, other outlets to relieve the stress, then that may, you know, the stress will still always be a contributing factor, but we can lessen that. We can lessen the propensity that it will have on heart disease. So on uh, January the 26th at the Waterfront Place, do we just arrive? Do we have to check in? Do we have to pre-register? How is that going to work? Well, actually, you just show up. Just show up. Yes, and uh, we're expecting a big crowd, crowd, and we're prepared for a bunch of people. Um, so when you come there, you just uh, show up and put your name into a, on a ticket for a raffle because we'll have a lot of raffle prizes. And then you'll come in, and we have two speakers. Dr. Frazier will be speaking for a little while, and then another lady from the hospital is going to be speaking who has actually experienced heart disease herself. And she's going to talk about how humor can help relieve stress and, um, you know, decrease some of that risk factor for heart disease. And then uh, the ladies, after listening, and they'll be e able to eat a little bit while they're there. Healthy, of course. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they'll get up and they'll go around to all the different exhibits. And some of them are just simply geared for learning something new, uh, maybe like doing origami or watercolor painting, sewing. I mean, just all these different ideas of things that ladies can do to help decrease their stress. I mean, I know this is not 100% true, but in I do believe that women put everything else in front of themselves. That's absolutely true. Their family, their job, everything, and they kind of forget, who am I? And what can I do for Kay? Or what mm -hmm. can I do for Cindy? So we, we tend to um, forget about ourselves. How do we change that and I guess that's why we want to come to this event right and I think the biggest thing that I want to promote that morning is that women should allow themselves to have fun just really relax and when you relax and have a little bit of fun that helps to decrease those stress hormones and it, you know decreases your likelihood of of um, having some of those other bad risk factors so that's what we hope on Saturday morning on January 26th, that the ladies will just come, be prepared to just enjoy themselves, and maybe find some other things that they might be able to do to um, decrease their stress. We're going to take a break, so let's just all relax a little bit. <laughs> the Women's Extreme Makeover, 9 a.m. till 1230, Saturday, January 26th, Waterfront Place Hotel, a morning of relaxation, offered at no cost and no pre-registration necessary. We'll tell you why you can wear red and help kick off the Go Red Week for Women coming up after the break on WAJR. The doctors, 
the latest news and procedures. Your local health connection is Mon General's Health Talk. If you'd like to be on the show, call 304-296-0041. Yes, I am uh, sharing my feminine side with you today, ladies and gentlemen. Jim Stallings along with Kay Murray. And ladies, relieve stress. Relax. Take some time for yourself to not have to worry about everybody else in your family and all the other things that you uh, roll over in your head each night when you're trying to go to sleep. Well, that solves that. We can all go home now, right? No, well, no. Now, after you go to this <laughs> on the 26th. And again, this is at the Waterfront Place Hotel Ballroom on January the 26th. It's a Saturday from 9 a.m. until 1230. And there's going to be a lot of good information out there to tell us how to relax. But I'm just curious, Dr. Frazier, how did you come up to the point to understand that a lot of health problems for women have to do with stress? Um, during my training, I've developed a love for women and heart disease and doing um, some research it's 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 widespread I, I, I didn't appreciate how much widespread it was until I started seeing my my, my patients and they'll tell me uh, yes I've had this chest pain for two or three weeks but I, I just blew it off. I couldn't do I, I could I didn't want to do anything about it because I have to take care of the family. Didn't want to take do. the time. Exactly. Okay. And so then when you delve more into it, it's, you know, I work two jobs and how many hours and, you know, my, my stress level is so high. And I find that that was a, um, a factor that is similar mm -hmm. with other women. And so... Um, doing a little bit more research and realizing that that's just um, one of the, 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 the indicators uh, to suggest that that contributes to stress, it's, it's just astounding. So the stress doesn't actually cause our heart to beat faster or to do unusual things. It's a matter of the lifestyle that we decide to go down that causes the heart problems. I, I actually think both. Combination. Um, a combination. So the stress causes you to adopt bad habits that we discussed. Um, there is a particular um, heart uh, condition, and especially what we see in women, it's called Takasubis cardiomyopathy, and that's just yeah, heart. easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 What's it's, that first word start with? It, with a T. And the second word? <laughs> it's actually one word. It's oh. <laughs> one long one. It's a. Um, it's it's a Japanese. Forgive us. We'll just call it T-dashopathy. How about that? <laughs> it's it's from a Japanese origin. So what we find is that women under acute stress actually have decreased blood flow to the heart muscle. Mm -hmm. The base of the heart functions, but the, um, the anterior portion into the apex um, sometimes balloons and doesn't contract nicely. So you have a, almost always a transient or a reversible cause. So um, you would, they would undergo a cardiac catheterization, and you'll find that they don't have uh, blocked arteries. And over time, this cardiomyopathy would improve. So how does it improve? Just by changing our lifestyle? Well, just by time. Um, after the acute stressful situation is resolved, then over time the vessels relax okay. and Thus, that r restores blood flow to the heart muscle. Are we causing permanent damage, however? with Usually not. Well, Usually that's encouraging. Not. Yes. That is encouraging. If we can um, make women understand what's causing it, because the numbers are way up with women in heart attacks. That's right. That's do you right. have any kind of numbers? To do women have more heart attacks than men? Has yeah. there been any study done on that at all? Right. Um, Less than age 65, men have more um, heart disease, heart attacks, um, angina, but after the age of 65, the gap closes, and so the um, incidence of heart disease are pretty much similar after the age of 65. Women do present atypically, um, and this is a little controversial, and I've had um, discussions with well, we some like of controversy my <laughs> on this show. with some of my colleagues, but I do... Um, find that women, um, for the for the most part, they do get the chest discomfort, the shortness of breath, but they'll tell you, I have a toothache, or I'll have a pain in my shoulder, or there's something, you know, just this nagging discomfort in my elbow, and a lot of times that'll just be overlooked. 
you know, it's like, oh, well, it's nothing, just, you know. Maybe so what you described there, you're telling me those are signs? Those are signs um, for angina or, or heart disease for some women. Um, if they've gone on to have a stress test and it's, it's positive, we'll go ahead and do a cardiac catheterization, and oftentimes we'll find a culprit vessel. Um, if you do a stress test and it's normal and they still have the symptoms, and my recommendation would just to go ahead and do the gold standard test, which is the cardiac catheterization, and see what you find. If you have any questions, call us at 304-296-0041. Indulge your mind in massages and manicures and your body in Zumba and self-defense. Challenge yourself with origami and organizational ideas and learn how to better accessorize and dress for your age. There will also be makeup and cooking demonstrations coming up. Let Mon General Hospital help you melt the stress away. Dress More details on this event coming up on WAJR. What? Dress for your age? That's what it says right there. Dress for your age? You, you I, ask, wait a minute. You want to ask about that when we come back well, from the break? I sure will. All right, <laughs> and we'll do that. We'll be back right after this. This is Mon General's Health Talk. Providing the information you need to take charge of your health. Call us now with your health-related questions at 304-296-0041. The way you look tonight. Yes, lady in red. Just smooth and green. Yes. I'm relaxed. Go red for women. Go red for women. Let's talk about that with Mon General Electrophysiologist Latoya Linton Frazier, MD. All right. You want women to wear red to this event? Yes. If they can, yes. If they um, can. Go, uh, right. Um, we will have go red pins uh, that will be available for the women also. But if they can wear an item of red clothing. You know what my next question is? Why red? Red signifies the heart, um, and that's pretty much what it is. Mm -hmm. Relaxed wear, should we come in a relaxed wear, or should we come in a suit? Oh, definitely come in clothing that you're able to move around in so okay. that you can fully participate in all the activities. Don't forget the sneakers. Man, I look horrible in red sweats. <laughs> I just can't see it. See, it's all about how she looks. Yeah, see not, that. not comfort. <laughs> We're wanting ladies to wear red because it's kicking off the Go Red for Women Month, and actually the Wear Red Day is on February 1st. So we just want to, that's a day for making sure that all women are aware of heart disease and maybe they can educate themselves more and know what to look for so that way less women will die of the disease. So right now the statistics say that one in three women will die of heart disease. That's staggering. All right, everybody, grab a pen, piece of paper, because we're going to give you the information again about the event, where, what time, and more. So let's uh, start it off with, first of all, is there any pre-registration or anybody we need to call before we attend? No, not at all. Just show up at the Waterfront Hotel Ballroom. And what day is this? It's on January 26th, and if you'll be there a little bit before 9 o'clock, because the speakers start at 9 and we want to make sure that everybody gets involved in everything that's offered there. Should I eat a little breakfast before I come, or are you going to provide something? No, we'll have plenty of food to eat. Um, I mean, just finger foods that you can hold in your lap while you're sitting down enjoying the rest of the time. But, um, yeah, we'll have some things there for you to eat and drink, coffee for sure. Of course, Mon General <laughs> Hospital, uh, the sponsor, but along with Alpha Phi Sorority. And talk about their involvement real quick, if you could. Yeah, the Alpha Phi organization, the sorority, they put on the Red Dress Gala every oh, okay. year, and that is where the bulk of the funds have come from to support this event. And so uh, we're very appreciative. It originally started out, we thought we'd have the Zumba a thon and ended up we can offer so much more. Relax and let Mon General help you melt your stress away. You've been listening to Health Talk, brought to you by Mon General Hospital. You know where they're located, J.D. Anderson Drive here in Morgantown. And we hope you'll attend the event on the 26th at the Waterfront Place Hotel Ballroom. Stay tuned. Morgantown AM coming up next after the news on WAJR.